Where do meerkats go for the winter? Well, if you're Josh and Elliot, you go on secret assignment to your hometown of Hazlitt, Michigan. This is our post office. And this is our railroad tracks. This is our high school. And this is our Lake Lansing. And this is a nightmare. I mean, Walmart. <laughs> You might be as surprised as us to see this sprawling thing here at the corner of Central Park and Marsh Road, where there used to be a small marshy river where biology classes from our high school would study in the spring. How did it get here, you might ask? It's a funny story. We know construction of the Walmart was delayed for a long time. First because the local landowner refused to sell to developers. I think it was this guy right here. Then, after some local elections, a greener township board reversed a decision made by their predecessors and opened an investigation into whether Walmart was building on this critical drainage land. What happened then? Walmart sent a corporate lawyer from Farmington Hills to our township board meetings, along with their local business partners, the Ides. The Ides are this family of developers and land barons responsible for lots of the overdevelopment in Lower Michigan. By strange coincidence, the Elder Eyed also pulled a loose tooth out of Elliot's mouth at a church picnic when he was, like, seven. I don't remember which one it was. Anyway, Walmart representatives threatened to sue the township for backpedaling on the drainage issue. In a real democracy, you might say, well, if the people voted for a greener township board, they might want to make sure Walmart isn't paving over their wetlands. But here in the U.S., the bottom line is still the bottom line. Walmart told us that if we went to court, the cost of litigation would bankrupt the township. And that was true, so that was that. So, despite the fact that many people had shown up at meetings to protest the development, uh, the Walmart still got built, along with this pet supply store, this drive through cookie thing, and this street that's trying too hard to be New York. Excuse me. So that's the story from our little corner of the world, where the silos are scenic, the houses are uncannily similar, and as we learned in biology back in high school, the rapidly disappearing marshland is slightly high in fecal coliform. Oh, and as for the Walmart? It's gonna stay in Hazlitt until it gets burned to the ground. You know what I'm saying? Burn!